What's up, guys? Dodge Runner 95. I'm out here in the shop again. <laughs> and it is another late night. I'm trying to figure things out, piece things together. I got me a new little project amongst the 50 million others. And this project is homemade wood lathe. This whole thing, I've worked on it for two nights so far. So, pretty much this is night number two. I got things figured out in the ways of how the axle and everything's going to sit. My little compression bearing or whatever you want to call it. Sleeve. I got sitting in here. I've greased it up, but I just don't know. Or I don't have enough machining knowledge to even comprehend half of what I'm doing. Uh, and I really don't want to set my phone down just because of all the metal shavings. And it's very difficult to clean metal shavings off my phone just because of the magnets in it. But so far, I'm using one by ones that I went to a local hardware store and got. Uh, some 5 16 washers, all thread nuts, they're nylon lock nuts, they're 5 16 all got it at the same hardware store. Uh, my motor, cords, my pedal, everything, pretty well everything that is going into making my headstock and eventually going into the tailstock. I've scavenged from an old sewing machine. So, actually, I'll walk over here to my workbench where I got pretty good amount of lighting. All these parts laying out on here came from this bugger. The old sewing machine. Which, it is not pretty. I might use these in a future project sometime down the road. Might not. I don't know what those are for. But... I got a little bit of everything from this. I got the other little rubber belt. Which actually, I took this little bugger here that used to hold something I do not remember. <laughs> I should have took photos and stuff as I was tearing it apart. But I'm using that as something like a tensioner. My pulley here has two different size gr or wheels to it. Got the smaller one, and I got my larger one. All that I can use for variance in the gear ratio. The small pulley on the motor, about the same size as this, so it's kind of a one-to-one -one gear ratio. If I was to flip the pulley over to this one, or larger one, I'd be looking at one and a half to, yeah, 1.5 to one or a 2.5 to one turn ratio. Not 100% sure on what size exactly, but, or what the gear ratio would be if I flipped it, but that's just a rough idea. Um, I may work on vehicles, but. At the same time, there's a lot of things that still perplexes me. Hmm. Just trying to think what else to say. Other than, this is giving me a headache. <laughs> and it's... For anyone out there that understands this stuff better than I do, please leave a comment and I'll contact you. Just because having an understanding to this is a bit better than going in blind like I am right now and figuring things out on the fly. <clears throat> but, uh, really, I'm just using simple one by one, some like inch and a quarter, inch and a half drywall screws to hold the wood together, using a little bit of this really thin board, I believe it's like 
three six or like one or two sixteenths thick. Primarily using that as my base mount for the motor and face mount for it as well. Since I will show you here. Just took two small pieces. I don't have exact measurements since every, if you were to build this yourself, there's going to be a different size motor that you're or a different motor you're going to use. Uh, really, I just took this little pulley off here, which has a little regular screwdriver uh, set screw. Took it off. Took a mark or a pencil marked where the pulley was here on the back actually I have to flip this off okay so upon that I pressed since this wood is very soft I pressed and marked where these two mounting studs will go drilled that out to uh, let me look here on my bit I believe I drilled it out to quarter inch. That way it had enough space to go through. Finger, uh, yeah, finger tight is how tight I got them. I don't need them any tighter than that. Uh, but so far, I got a lot I got to figure out here. All the way from getting the pulley to stay in place as well as keeping it so the axle doesn't shift back and forth but overall two nights hacksaw angle grinder pieces from a sewing machine has gotten me to here granted i'm going in blind don't really know what all i'm trying to piece together <laughs> But I've made it this far. Eventually, I'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. And I'll probably put an update or, or yeah, I'll put an update to when I finish it or if I decide to scrap it. Don't know. Uh, but update to how my son is doing. My son, he's doing very well, and I'm glad to be a dad. Granted, this is my first child. Things are a little rocky in the sense of getting in the swing of things. But overall, it's a nice feeling to be a, be a father for the first time. <clears throat> but there's that quick update. And pretty well what this video is about. So, like I said before, I'll post an update to when it's finished or if I scrap it. <sighs> but have a good one, guys. Keep it dirty.